In front of me is a OnePlus 7 Pro and I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification page. As you can see, it's right now on and uh, there's no way to skip it. Uh, I just need to put it in to progress further. So what you want to do is actually have a SIM card with a pin on it. You, that's basically a requirement for this to work. So I already have one in there, so I'm just gonna pop it out and pop it back in simply. Okay, so it's out. Now I'm just gonna put it back in. Give it a moment for it to actually get the this thing. And from here, put in the pin. So I'm gonna put mine in. And uh, now, once you press OK, it will take you to the lock screen. That's where we want to be. Do not unlock it. Hold this message. This message should be visible here. And you'll see this little icon. Uh, I is an information, tap on it, and it takes you right here. So from here, scroll to browser up, tap on it, and then go to the bottom link, which is opening links. And from here, scroll all the way down to YouTube. Tap on YouTube. From here, tap on the icon of YouTube. So this one right here. So you tap it, it takes you to the settings of it. And from here, we're gonna go into, what was it? Notifications. And then tap on additional settings in the app. From here, we're gonna tap on about. And then you will see Google privacy policy. So tap on it and it takes us to the browser, which is where we wanted to get from too. Just tap on uh, accept and continue. Uh, no thanks, we don't want to sign in. And what we will do now <coughs> is uh, search. So we're gonna go into hard reset website. Just hard reset.info. Hopefully you can see it clearly. Go there. Now mind you, you will need to connect to the internet. I mean, you should be connected to it anyway because otherwise you will not get the message of, of verification to Google, so. Okay, so from here, we're gonna search. Actually, no, we're not gonna search. We're gonna tap here. And we're gonna go to downloads or download. Tap on it. Once again, was this little bar here, three little bars, and just need to go to downloads. So from here, we're gonna search for Android 8. So type in Android 8 in the field right here. And search for it. Yeah, and you should see this, so download it. Tap on a little download button right here. And go down, you'll see another one, this one. Tap on it again. And uh, continue and allow, because we want to download it. Tap on OK and open. Now it might be closing, I'm not really sure. Uh, when the little open button appears, it might actually disappear. So you might wanna like, make sure that you click it in time. And now to install it, we need to allow unknown sources. So tap on settings and you have this little switch right here. Flip it, go one back. And now we can install it. So tap on install and open. And from here, we will go into, let's see, um, nope, not this one. Um, we're going to tap on this, a Google Account Management APK install. And tap for version 6.0, right here. So click. And once again, we need to allow unknown sources for this one. So 
flip it, go on back and install once more. And once it's done, you can tap on done and we're back to this application. And now we want to tap bypass FRP and then go into browser sign in. And you will see the three little dots on the top. So just tap them and browser sign in and tap on OK. And here it redirects us so we can now sign into Google account. So sign in with the one that you have. Uh, I'm going to put in mine. Okay, and from there, I'm just going to tap on next. And I'll put in the password. So I'm going to do that off the screen. And once I put it in, I'm just going to tap on sign in. And this will happen. So as you saw, it just started logging in. And once it did, it just disappeared. So from now, we can actually hold the power key and reboot the device. So let's stop on restart. Wait for the phone to reboot. Once more, we need to put in the, oops, not like that. Okay, then you can unlock it, doesn't matter. Now we're gonna tap on agree. Stop on agree, I'm in. Proceed further on. Don't copy. And as you can see, now instead of Google verification, we have the address that we put in previously, which is right here, before we rebooted the device. And that is basically what the phone thinks was the previous email address. So we can just proceed on. It doesn't black us any anymore. And we can finish the setup freely, however we like. I'm gonna tap on skip. Skip, I don't want to set up anything. Oops. Continue. Skip it. No, thanks. Now, one last thing we will do to fully remove any kind of previous Google account. Uh, doesn't really matter here. We're gonna go to settings. Stop on the settings by pulling down the notification once more. Like so, and go all the way down into system. From there, you will see reset options. So, tap on reset options. Let me make the screen brighter. Okay. Reset options right here. Stop on it. And then you will see uh, erase all data factory reset. So, we want to just do that. And uh, we can check that on or off. The phone should, well, probably doesn't have anything, so it doesn't really matter. So tap on reset on and erase everything and wait for the process to go through. And uh, once it finishes, we'll be back in the, in the Android setup screen. Uh, but this time you can actually just not put in any Google account and it will basically think like the phone is new. There was no previous user account logged in, so you can either add one or skip it. It won't be blocking you any, anymore. And there should be any like residue after the previous account. And as you can see where the setup screen is gonna change the language. Tap on start, agree. And starting with this one, we can now, as you can see, automatically skip it and it doesn't block us. 
continue by skipping it. Accept. Skip. Skip. Skip anyway. I'm primarily trying to go through this as quick as possible so you can see it. And now the phone works fine. We didn't have to connect to the network nor did we have to put in any kind of Google account. So as you can see, now the process is finished and uh, your phone should be fully unlocked now. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thank you for watching.